Respect, my genuine love, respect, page. I should appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Protect your energy because not everybody's having a good time. Hey, what's going on? Hi, how you doing? Have a safe remaining week. Protect your energy because not everybody's having a good time. Hey, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Hello. Listen, we don't do all that drama over here. Return back to Cinder. <laughs> Say it for your mama. It's just that simple. Yo, what's wrong with people? It's the thought part of me. What the hell is wrong with people? You know what? It's really the mindset for me. Like... When 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 is enough gonna be enough? I, I don't I don't think people understand, you know, because it it, it, it just be the mindset for me. Let me see my thought process real quick. Thought process, you working today? Thought process, you working today? Hold on, it's registering. It's working. Hey, what's going on? You have to you have to, have to reevaluate your thought process, but then reevaluate your thought process, but then your thought process, saying yourself as yo. Why is it that when you mind your business, but then minding your business, you elevating or whatever the case may be, and you have peace with yourself, and people just be looking for a reaction out of you, like it is be the thought process for me. Yeah, you want my reaction? You're not gonna get it. No, sorry, that's okay. And they got so much evil stuff to say about you at the end of the day. So much evil stuff to say about you, but not one time. Do they take the time out to reevaluate where they thought process and say they something they need to think that they need to get them, themselves together? <laughs> like it be the thought process for me. Like when somebody is into God, right? Everybody's entitled to their own opinion at the end of the day, right or wrong. We're entitled to freedom of speech, so they say, right? And being that people are entitled to their own opinion and whatever religion that they decide to go down, whatever path they, they, they choose to go path, they path or whatever case it be. Yo, never judge a book by its cover. I'm just going to say this. Whatever route they decide to go with God, by you sitting there questioning God, you have a problem within a problem questioning a child of God. And I say that respectfully. Questioning a child of God is like questioning God. And especially when that child of God is sitting before you today and showing you at the end of the day that miracles can happen. That child of God is staying in lane. They're not going back and forth with your words because you're looking for a reaction out of that child of God. And that child of God is at peace with themselves. And they're looking at the reflections of themselves today to respect themselves and respect their neighbor and understand that the sign within the assignment that God is throwing self awareness, self respect, self peace, self control, self discipline, self confidence, self care, self healing, self love, self worth, self patience, and healthy boundaries. For that child of God to be able to show for themselves today. And because God allowed them to see the other day, good day, bad day, misunderstanding day, God's going to continue to guide them with patience. And so that child of God can be able to see for themselves to know that patience is, is part of the process. Without patience, you're not going to get too far. Without patience and understanding the assignment that God is in tune with a child of God that you can't see before yourself today because you're hating in disguise. Or you got malicious intentions, like they throw parts on their pockets or their freedom, neighbor. When that child of God is not even bothering you. You know, it's the mindset for me. You know, when you're in tune with God, you don't wear a mask. And when God is in tune with you, God don't wear a mask. Everybody don't believe in the same whoever they pray for at the end of the day. But when someone is in tune with God and they're showing you before they saw what the obstacles that they overcame, regardless from their from their childhood being traumatized, being dealing with trauma, being sexually assaulted as a child, going into their adulthood and they overcame it and they don't gotta wear a mask to fake it or act or, 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 or want clout off of it at the end of the day. Nah, they just trying to help the next person to show them at the end of the day that God can work in your favor. But it starts with you. And you gotta mean what you say and stay true to yourself. You can't wear a mask and say you and you and you say you have self love within you. It would never be able to make sense at the end of the day. Because you're miserable and you're you're miserable within and you're miserable on the outside and it shows. So you can't sit here and say that you're so held and tuned into yourself at the end of the day when you're displaying certain character traits that is even more toxic than toxic when you never started your healing process. Because if you started your healing process, you can make it make sense to have balance. It's called balance at the end of the day. And for you to sit here and tell a child of God that God is not working in their favor, yo, that's like questioning God. And I say that respectfully. And God don't like that. God is not appreciating that at the end of the day. Because God said never judge a book by its cover and stay in your lane. And understand the assignment within the assignment that when God is tuned into you, God is tuned into you on your timing. And how God deals with you is how God deals with you. Everybody's not dealt with the same way. And I say that respectfully. So when you say you're true to yourself to not wear a mask at the end of the day, stay in your lame neighbor because that, 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 that child of God or your neighbor, they didn't have malicious intentions towards you. 
to bring harm towards you or disrespect you in no shape or form. But you're looking for a reaction out of them because you're displaying to that child of God or your neighbor that God is not working in their favor. And they standing before you today and showing you that God allowed me to believe that I am a miracle within myself. That I am the blessing of the skies of myself. And I am worthy. And I deserve to be able to see better days ahead. And I am deserving of being patient and kind to myself to understand the assignment, the assignment to respect my neighbor. Just because my neighbor don't understand me, it's not meant for my neighbor to understand me as long as I don't have malicious intention to bring harm towards myself and others around me. I can respect myself and respect my neighbor without having to put a label and judging a book by its cover and just staying in my lane and at peace with myself and in tune with myself that What's funny with Jimmy be funny because God is going to guide the right genuine people that's going to respect me and honor me and value my time in, in a healthy way. God's going to continue to show me that that neighbor who just disrespected me in any shape and form at the end of the day because they allowed me to believe that God wasn't working in my favor. God's going to allow them to see at the end of the day that they need to stay in their lane when it comes to you. Especially when that neighbor didn't get to know who you for you truly was, but it was never meant for them to. It was meant for them to point out that God is working in your favor. And they acknowledging that God is working in your favor. And they trying to figure out how you did it. But they can't get in tune with themselves to have the courage to say, you know what, congratulations to you. Child of God, neighbor, you doing your thing. Continue to elevate and becoming your best self vision of yourself because you matter and you are worthy. You know, it's so, it's, it's, it's sad to see that the older generation uh, that, not all but some, will sit there and portray this on you know, the younger generation, and they just trying to get in tune with themselves to find themselves to understand that a mindset was put projected on us, and we're just trying to find ourselves to have balance. When you know, you know. And when God is working in in, in majority of our lives and showing us that God got our God got our back, God got our back. Just because God is not allowing you to see what God is working within us at the end of the day, like God is God in us, and it's sad that our elders are the ones who disrespect us. When we try to be ourselves and our transparent selves without disrespecting y'all in no shape or form, but being our transparent self and, and understanding the assignment within the summit that God has installed within us that we can respect our neighbor, but our neighbor can't respect us. We don't got no malicious intentions towards y'all. We don't disrespect y'all in no shape or form. Because when you're a child of God and when you know, you know. So when I say all, don't mean all. But when you know, you know. Stop the violence, stop the violence going against your neighbor, allowing your neighbor to feel unworthy of themselves because the enemy allows you to believe in that projection that your neighbor is unworthy, your neighbor's supposed to give up on themselves, your neighbor's supposed to live in fear, or your neighbor's supposed to be discouraged. And God didn't store that within you. God has stored patience within yourself to understand the definition of true self-awareness, to understand the true definition of self-control, self-respect, self-love, self-discipline, self-peace, self-worth, self-value. If you understand these tools within these tools that God has stored within you, you'll be able to stay in your lane and respect your neighbor in a healthy way. Ain't nobody better than the next person but staying in your lane and having malicious intentions to bring harm towards just open others around you. It's called respect, and it goes a long way. It's not about competition when it's dealing with God. It's not about competition because you're elevating, becoming your best self vision of yourself. When you're timing, is your timing? Your timing be your timing. And you can't say and question God because somebody is elevating, becoming their best self vision, or God is working within their favor and God is showing them that they can become their best self vision of themselves. Questioning that child of God is like questioning God. Protect your energy because not everybody's ever in your time. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. You don't be genuinely respected by all days with no less attention to be harmful to those around you. Never allow the enemy or hate in disguise or personal malicious intentions like you watch your thought parts loving your freedom because you are worthy and you matter. Protect your energy because not everybody's ever your time. You are worthy and you matter. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe remaining day and a safe week ahead of you. Protect your energy because I raise up your time. Now your genuine love, respect. They will try to suck you with thought process your freedom and manipulate your character and act like they told to do with God and the whole entire time. They trying to they trying to bring harm towards you and discourage you and allow you to feel like you're unworthy. But you are worthy and God got your back. Respect.